Yo, I'm not really into all that, but Lion Fox app, let me download my own tracks. It's O from the X. And I use the Lion Fox app. Music, Lion Fox app. Like video, Lion Fox app. Photo, Lion Fox. understand why I have the Lion Fox app, right? What's good? It's Ben Mo7. You know I got that Lion Fox app, man. You gotta get to it, man. For real. What's going on? How you doing out there? This is Ernest Green, director of the short documentary, Willie, A Hero's Reflection, at the New York International Film Festival. If you want to check out my interview from the festival, you can check it out at the Lion Fox app. Hey, I got the Lion Fox app. Yo, I got the Lion Fox app. Even while I'm shopping for my son-in-law, I have the Lion Fox app. I'm DJ Shop Panino Senior, also on Active. I got a shout out going to a group that I know. Great people, great company. Lion Fox Entertainment Group. The Lion Fox app is free and available for most smartphone platforms and as a computer browser extension. Please visit us at www.lionfox.net slash app. Rich Rossi back here at Festival Week with Kamal. Right. And uh, if you caught us a little earlier before we started filming, Kamal, you were uh, you were giving me such an adulation about my tuxedo on opening night. Oh no, you got a you got a wonderful, uh, wonderful suit. looks like a clown outfit. Is that what you? No. <laughs> Listen, you I want to tell you that you kind of have that yeah. Carl Kolschak, the Night Stalker. Oh, do I? No, the vampire. Oh, the vampire. Oh, I thought it was a better part. All right. Now, I saw your movie Brutal, the opening night, and, um, you know, one of the, one, the, I guess you could always tell a film by its audience and the reaction to the audience. And if you remember correctly, I had brought a young lady to it, I just wanted to mention that, and she saw it because she, from, apparently from I Russia. I don't think she wants to mention no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was so scary. No, come on. Come on, I'm telling you, it was so scary and such a... a oh, a, you stop it. It's it was, not, you got to see this. It, no, it's, it's, I'm telling you, it's like Brian De Palmer, you know? Brian anyway, De Palmer? It's, it's, it's Brian De Palmer meets Scorsese on a bad night or something. It was unbelievable. But the movie I don't, literally I don't think, scared. I don't them. think they would like the, that to be referred to. As like well, how would you? Who would you say most uh, closely resembles the kind of work that you did? I think it resembles me. It resembles you. Yeah. Your own original. Yeah, I'm not like these bums over here. Look at this guy. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not one of these guys that copycat stuff. Okay. I'm, now it is a, it is a pretty you know I mean it keeps you on the edge of your seat the whole movie it starts off and uh, well tell us tell a little bit about it without giving away the movie. Well, I uh, was always been a big fan of gangster films, especially the New York uh, gangster films. So uh, I took, uh, wrote the script and made it like uh, very quick moving. And but I didn't want to do the usual thing, like you know, the mafia guys at right. the table with the right, right. We're gonna burn this, uh, this, <laughs> uh, you know, like this exactly. uh, picture of a saint and everything. It was I didn't want to like, do, like, like, do that. I, I was just really about four neighborhood guys that get in trouble when they have uh, beef with a gangster. Right. So it's right. not it's, gang, kind of it's not gangster traditional yeah. with the with the Well, it had a lot of layers on it because you never really expect to see what happens there as it evolves into something. And of course Peter it had Green does a lot of layers on it. They make an onion? <laughs> you made a cake. Well, no, it's really a, and it's a very well joke, I, I think I ought to choked on that joke. <laughs> and the rhymes too. Actually, Pete Green was in it. Peter Green was in it. Peter Green. What? You're calling him Pete Green now? I guess you guys, I guess you guys are going out for drinks or something. We are. We're trying to get him out to the uh, opening night. Uh, I, got, the I got Peter Green in it. I tried getting uh, mostly Italian. I made a Brooklyn Italian movie. Yeah. Of course, I grew up in the story of Queens with uh, many Sicilians and Greeks. Did you draw from your personal history to uh, make this movie? Or? Uh, no. <laughs> well, getting know, a little I, close to comfort there. I don't want to say that. I, I grew up with a lot of the sons of, uh, you know... Sons you know what I'm saying? Sons of bitches. <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> now, I want to just say this movie really takes you by surprise because you never really anticipate I, I all the things that are going to happen. It took everyone's surprise. They thought they were seeing a cartoon. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I had read the script prior, yeah, too. That was another joke, by was the way. It, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, you did the Jersey Boys. Tell us a little bit about your early history. Uh, again, you call me Camille, and now you're saying I did the Jersey Boys. The Jersey. Right? Do I look like Frankie Avalon? I was, I in, the jer- I was in the Jerky Boys. Oh, Jerky Boys. Boy. <laughs> guys. Well, I, just, I was trying to give you a little I bit thought, of more step up. I know guys, I was trying to help you out. The guy thinks I'm Frankie Avalon. <laughs> Can you sing a little tune for us? Um, we all came out to Montreal. On the way. No, that's that's, that's good. That's, that's good. No, I was. I like uh, that. That's good. No, I was listening to heavy. Jerky Boys. Now tell us no, about no, that. No, yeah. Oh, Jerky Boys. Yeah. Uh, we did prank phone calls. It was comedy, but uh, everybody now, knows you from that. Well, they know me from that. When I went on this uh, little crack and do spree in the neighborhood, that got me oh. in trouble. <laughs> oh, that's not a joke. No, seriously. No, you're that, being very serious about it. No, I'm not. No, you're but not being uh, serious about no, no, okay. but. Um, I got out of it. I'm doing like a drama now. Okay. You know. What I'm so saying? the Jerky Boys really kind of was the beginning of your career, so to speak. It was the beginning. You know, I was trying to get into. Uh, you know, I was a musician. I still played. I played a bass, and I was. I figured like, let me start this Jerky Boy thing. Maybe we could get in the uh, mm-hmm. in a in a, in a record business. Right. right. But then like you know, it, it blew up so fast, and it was so you know. I just kind of like uh, went by the wayside over there. You know, now I talked to Stuart earlier. We were talking about you the other day because we saw a little bit of you here. Of course, you know, when you see somebody, you got to talk about them. But uh, he mentioned that a lot of times you always wanted to do your, you would never take somebody else's project on. You, you're really into, you're almost like Quentin Tarantino. He writes his own stuff, directs oh, his mean, own stuff. You mean I rip people off? No, no I said you write your own stuff. Oh, oh, I got it. Is that no, what Quentin I, does? I, I, no, okay. no, no. He said it, Quentin. I, 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 should, be, I should be so fortunate. Well, you might be. You might very well be. Brutal looks very good. And well, so, um, but you don't really want to take on other people's work. You really want to produce well, your own I, stuff. I do my own stuff, man. It's uh, what I've always done, you know. I, even when, when it was music, when it was comedy, whatever, uh, I, I'm just kind of... Came up with mind. your own material. Yeah, I mean, I'm just... I, How do you feel about this movie? How do you feel it's going to do in the... I think uh, it's going to do very well because it's, uh, it's what the people want. It's action-packed. There's some great acting and a great drama. I found some real local talent. Uh, where did he go? I don't know the guy. He walked. <laughs> He's by. so local, he left. He's local with a, with an O, like yeah. But uh, I think I think this is going to be good. No, it's great. It's great. It, it's just it keeps you on the edge of your seat, and you don't know really what's going to happen till the end. You don't have to brown those. Very, no. <laughs> very suspenseful film, and a little frightening actually. It's kind of a shame what happens to some of the people in the film. You look but a little like preoccupied with something. No, no, you, keep, no, you, you keep looking this way and that. No, way. no, no, not at all. Not at all. Really? I was no. I'm very much in tune with you. I'm just trying you're to. In tune with me? What are you a piano? <laughs> no, because you said you were a musician. <laughs> And you're a musician? No, I was just trying to be in tune. <laughs> what does that mean? I anyway. feel like this is Abbott and Costello over here. <laughs> it could very well be. We might have a whole new career together. Uh, I like road. the way you keep throwing you in this conversation. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, like it's, this guy it's, self, it's self-promotion, self-promotion. I know this part. This so guy. what's next for you? What are you working on now? What's next for me? Uh, well, you're going to be getting this movie out and promoting this, of course. Well, I got Stu Olson from ITN Distribution uh, that's uh-huh. working a film out so that... That means, uh, Stu, uh, can we get Stu on camera? No, Stu, right. Stu, Stu's busy robbing other people. <laughs> kind of well, left a little. I like that. that. No, I like that. Well, you know, I was just appreciate. Which Stu, little, you should come out here and see what this is going on over here. It's gone array. It's gone array. That looked a little personal. That did. That looked, well, no, 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 no nothing's I'm personal. Kidding. It's just it's show Obviously business. Obviously, I'm kidding. Stu is Stu's I, great. Stu is an old friend of mine. Well, yes, we go is. back to uh, we yes, go we we go back to the uh, I guess to the '80s. I think. The 80s. Now you're I'm, I'm an old timer. Oh, you look younger than me. I'm an old timer who's also a down and outer. An old timer, down and outer. Well, I like that. Right. Well, this should ping you upper and outer. I don't know. Is that right? Anyway, this okay, movie has uh, got listen, a lot of potential. While we're together, I'm, you just be the straight man, <laughs> okay, all right? Okay. And, and don't try to add the jokes. <laughs> I was gonna, I was going to give you another joke. I thought you were doing a, pro- a product placement for Pepsi. Over no, there. no, I was drinking one of those uh, fizzy sodas. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I thought maybe they helped with the film or something, and you were helping. Are you push kidding it. me? Pepsi. The only thing Pepsi would give me is a shoot at the ass. They'd say get out of here. Well, you should talk to them nicely. Maybe they'll I'm help you out. I'm school. I get. You know who I get my money from to make movies? Investor. Investors, I get them from uh, pot dealers and uh, <laughs> junk. Don't give away your secrets. Come on. I get, I get them from uh, like this guy with the with the denim jacket. That's what I gives like me that. money. I, I'm not big time. He's making his next movie. Maybe you should talk to him. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm not on that level where I, I get legitimate uh, people. But but this movie, no, no, that was my other movies. This this movie. <laughs> this I got is legit- more legitimate. No, I got legitimate. People. I met your investors. They were in there. They were very nice. They said nice things about you. I think well, it's going was to do that so before or after they pulled the knife out of my back? I think it was after they pulled the knife out of your back. Right, so. right. 
they probably feel better about it. Of course, it. I'm, uh, I'm joking, but you look preoccupied. No, no, it's just that the movie's letting out. Yours is about oh, ready to get started. Right, so listen, on behalf of Film Festival Week, I'm Rich Rossi. It's always an honor to see oh, you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on the Red Carpet. Kamal. Thank you. And uh, the, name the, <laughs> the name of the movie. The name of the movie is brutal. And boy, was this interview brutal. Thank you very much.